In this video, I'll be showing you a cheap and effective way for you to send audio from your analog mixer to your computer for live stream and recording without using an expensive USB audio interface. So let's get right into it. The method I'll be talking about in this video is completely scalable. So if you have a small mixer like this for podcast, or you have a very large mixer, analog mixer that you use um, in houses of worship or in live events, you can apply the same method and get the same result. Um, the first thing you need to consider when you want to send signals from your console to your uh, computer is what mix you want to send, which also will eventually determine the output bus or the output port you want to use. So if you are confused as to what output bus to use, um, you should definitely check out my video on understanding how to use the different output bus on a mixing console. I will link that video in the description and you should watch it after you watch this video, of course. So for example, if I'm mixing live with this mixer and I'm using my main left and right output to send signals to my main speakers and I also want to record or stream my main mix, I can use another connector that has a copy of that main mix. In this mixer, this um, RCA output labeled rec out also contains the main mix. So why this uh, quarter range output ports a labeled main left and right i used to send signals to my main speaker i can connect this to my computer to also have a copy of that main mix recorded or streamed live now that's just one example and the possibilities are very numerous so depending on what you're going for and the kind of mix you want to record or stream live you should be able to understand what you need to send to your console now there are three kinds of cables that you can use to make the connections between your console and the computer and the first of those is this kind of cable right here this cable has a pair of RCA left and right uh, on one end that connects to your console and uh, a, an 8th inch TRS jack on the other end that connects to your computer. So if the output port you are seeking to send signals from uses an RCA like the ones I the one I showed you earlier, you can use something like this. The RCA left and right goes into the RCA output on the console while the other end connects to your computer. Uh, the second cable that you can use is similar to this. The only difference is the part that goes into the uh, mixer. So if your output port in the mixer has um, quarter range TRS, you can use something like this. It has quarter, a pair of left and right quarter range uh, TS on one, on one end and eighth inch TRS on the other end. So um, the TS left and right goes into the output. I'm using the main output here because it uses TRS left and right. And then the other end goes into the computer. This is a, an eighth inch TRS. Now for the final one, which you might have guessed already, it's still similar to this, but the part that goes into the console is a female XLR, a pair of female XLR connectors. Now I don't have that cable right here because that cable is quite rare to find, but if that's still your case and you want to use it, you can use something like this. This is an adapter that um, this can go into. And the other end is a female, um, XLR connector and goes into your mixing console. You can do that for the right as well and then you have the cable that you need. Now let me explain how these cables work. Um, on the part that goes into the computer, we have an 8th inch TRS. TRS simply stands for tip, ring and sleeve. This is the tip, this is the ring and this is the sleeve. Sleeve rather. The tip carries the left signal and it is connected to the tip of the left connector that goes into the mixer. As you can see here, this is labeled tip and this is labeled ring. Um, so the tip carries the left connector, which is also the left uh, signal here. And um, pin two on the left, uh, pin two on the left XLR connector. Why the ring carries the right signal, which is um, the right pin uh, tip here with the right signal, the tip of the right signal here, and pin two of the right signal with the XLR connector. The sleeve here is a common ground. The sleeve here is connected to this ground and this ground. Same thing, same thing here is connected to this ground and the ground here. For the XLR connector, it's connected to pin 1 of the ground. Pin 3 in the XLR is no use because it's an unbalanced connection we are making here. Uh, most times the pin 3 is also connected to the ground like pin 1. Now if you want to connect the left and right main output of your mixing console, for example, you can simply connect the left to the left of main and the right to the right of main why this part goes into your computer i'll get into that in a bit now there's one thing i want you to note here um in almost all cases the red um, of the two connectors that goes into the missing console the red the red is almost always the right connector 
um, same thing with this. So the red most time is connected to the ring, while the other color, white or black, is connected to the tip. So it's to know uh, a, a quick way to understand is ring is for red, um, ring is also right. So the letter R for ring, letter R for red, letter, letter R for right. Now let's check out the computer connections. There are two methods here. First of all, if your computer has a separate port for headphones and a separate port for microphones, this computer does not have that. But if it does, um, then you can simply connect this to the microphone port um, of the computer and set your the input of your recording or your live stream software to the default microphone in the computer and you're good to go. Uh, but if it's your computer is like this, has just one port for both microphone and headphones, then you can't connect this straight into this port because it wouldn't work. This is a TRRS port and what we have is a TRS. This doesn't accept uh, stereo audio. So what you will do instead is to use something like this. This is a USB sound card that you can get for a very cheap price. Um, you can get this for less than $7 or eight dollars maximum i got this one here in the uk for about six pounds which is around seven less than seven dollar fifty i got this one a very long time ago back in nigeria for even less so um this gives you a microphone port and a headphone uh, port so simply connect this to the microphone port and then connect this to your uh, computer and then the input of your recording or live streaming software you have to set the usb sound card uh, monitor your audio level and then you can start recording or live streaming uh, this is what the setup sounds like i've connected the shoy m 58 to the mixer and the main output of the mixer i've sent to the computer using this method we just discussed and it's pretty clean uh, it's a clean sound now the major drawback of this method is that the connection is an unbalanced connection and you have to keep the cable very short meaning the computer has to be close to the mixer at all times if you want a longer connection you have to use a usb audio interface and to understand how you can do that click this video right here and also to check out my video on how to understand the um, various output pulses on a mixing console that video is right here thank you for seeing this video till the end i'm kelvin i'll see you in the next one